<laughs> What's going on guys? Today we're covering chest binders. How to measure, put on, all safely so that way you can flatten your chest in a safe way. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. The best, most common ways to battle chest is for you is with a chest binder. You put on the binder and it flattens your chest, right? When I first got my chest binder, I literally experienced nothing but euphoria. It was so nice to be able to put it on and flatten my chest, be able to wear t-shirts, not have to worry about how big my chest looked in those shirts because it compressed my chest down. I was literally so excited just to be able to have this chest binder on and have the outside match the inside. So first we're gonna cover how to properly measure your chest to make sure that you're buying the binder that fits you best. Now depending on the company that you choose from, they usually have specific sizing instructions to make sure that you're purchasing the one that fits you best. That way it's not too small for safety reasons and it's not too big and defeating the purpose. The two most common safe places to purchase a binder are from GC2B and Underworks. Now I've never purchased an Underwork bi Underworks binder so I can't really talk too much about that, but I have purchased a GC2B binder. Um, I bought the full length version and the tank version where it just stops right underneath your chest so it doesn't go all the way down and cover your stomach. I ended up buying one of each um, and the tank top one I didn't like very much because it covered my stomach and my stomach it just seemed to like scooch up on my stomach so it would it would like go all the way up and stop at my chest it would just bunch up so eventually I just ended up cutting that part off GC2B for example measures the fullest part of your chest first what they do is they want you to take a measuring tape one of the soft flexible kind of measuring tapes. What they want you to do is grab a measuring tape and go across your chest this way, like all the way around your back and measure completely around that way. And that's the number you'll use for your chest size. Now say you're measuring for the gc GB binder and the number of your chest is 34. 34 is in the middle of the two different sizes, small and medium. The next step when you're trying to decide whether you're small or medium is to take the shoulder measurement. Now if you have small shoulders, you're gonna be okay with going with a smaller version, the smaller size. But if you have super wide shoulders, naturally, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get the next size up because you're gonna have to take that on and off. And if you're too small, going over a, a broad, broadly shouldered person, broadly shouldered, broad shouldered person, it's gonna be hard to take it off. So no matter who you order from, make sure you're checking their specific sizing directions and then sizing yourself properly so that way you can chest bind safely. Number two, how in the hell do you put this thing on? Let me tell you, the first time I got mine, I was trying to squeeze myself into it in the bathroom and I'm like trying to get my one arm through and then I pulled it up on this side and I ended up like almost like ripping the seam because I was putting it on incorrectly and I was just totally winging it and I was just trying to put it on because I was so excited and I didn't want to take the time to stop and check a video and make sure I was putting it on correctly. So that's why I'm making this for you so that way when you get your binder in the mail, you know exactly what to do with it. And these binders are not like any t-shirts or tank tops you're used to putting on. They're a lot smaller and narrower so it's not like you can just put one arm through, put the other arm through, pull it down, and you're good to go. There's a couple extra steps. Now because I use trans tape to bind, I actually donated my binder, so I don't have a binder to exactly show you how to do it. But I've got a tank top. So we're just gonna pretend that this tank top is a binder, full length binder, right? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn it completely inside out. So you get your binder in the mail, you're gonna wanna flip it completely inside out. So it's, it looks like it's on with tag shown and everything. Then you're gonna hold it upside down like this. So the top part of the shoulders are at the bottom, and you're like this, right? So the front is facing out, the back and tag is facing you, and then you're just gonna step into it. Both legs in the neck hole, and you're gonna feel super weird. You're like, what in the heck is this situation going on right now? And wiggle it all the way up to your belt line, right? So that way it's inside out and upside down, and then you're gonna pull it up and over your shoulders. So this is what it looks like. Once it's through both sides, you can adjust it to your chest, and adjust your chest as need be. So what you're gonna do is try to push your chest to one side and push the other side of your chest to the other. So you're kind of tucking in your chest towards like under your arm. So it creates this like flatter appearance right here. Now you want it to be comfortable. If this is painful for you, you probably got the wrong size. And if it's uncomfortable at first, but it's not hurting you, this could be just you getting used to wearing the binder. But what makes it all worth it is when you throw on a t-shirt and look in the mirror and you turn sideways and you see that your chest is actually way flatter. And it literally, I was so excited when I first saw that. I was literally showing it off to everybody. I was like kind of just like sitting taller and like, ooh girl, like I was all that and a bag of chips. At the end of the day, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the binder that fits you the best. 
you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you measured correctly and that you have the right size. Cause that's, it's gonna be your go-to. You might wear it most of the time and if you really love it, you might wear it every day. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it fits the best so that way you're safe and comfortable. It might seem confusing and hard to take on, but after a few times you'll really get the hang of it and it'll be a piece of cake and you'll be doing it without even having to think about what to do next. Also, you can reach out to other people and ask them, like you can get on Facebook groups and post on there. If you yourself have worn a chest binder, drop in the comments below, give them some tips to be able to help them out and teach them how to take them off. Like this is what we do this for. This is to communicate and to teach each other and help each other out because there's not always a go all solution for everybody. Maybe your experience, someone else is experiencing the same thing and you're the one that has the solution for them. So drop a comment. If you like this video, I appreciate a big thumbs up. Um, if you want to stay tuned for my other video projects as well as tutorials, definitely drop a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day. You're amazing. You're phenomenal. And I will see you guys in the next video.